X Limited has to select one of the two projects A and B, details of which are given below. So you have cost of the two projects as 30 lakhs and 30 lakhs. Life of the two projects are different. Project A has a life of 6 years and project B has a life of 10 years. Annual cash flows 9,25,000 for project A and 7,17,000 for project B. Applicable rate of discounting is 15% per annum. You are required to advise the company regarding selection of one of the two projects. Now, first of all, what we are going to do to solve a question like this, you would first compute NPV of the two projects. But simply computing NPV of the two projects will not be sufficient because here you are dealing with two such projects lives of which are different so a project with six year life will give you certain amount of npv a project with 10 year life will give you a certain amount of npv now these two projects just on the basis of npv cannot be compared why because their lives are different so use your simple common sense when the cost of the two projects were different when we have applied profitability index, do you recollect the meaning of profitability index? It was the present value of inflow expressed for each one rupee of outflow. On the other side, when you are talking about two projects having different life, so what you will do is you will convert the NPV in terms of a per annum kind of NPV. This process is called annualization. How to do that, we will learn through this example and let us just begin solving this particular question. And as I told you, in the first instance, what you are supposed to do, you are supposed to compute NPV of the two projects. So starting with NPV of project A, so present value of annuity at 15% per annum for 6 years will be 3.784483. Now we have learnt in details how to compute annuity factors and I am sure you are thorough with that. Total PV of inflow will be annual cash flow multiplied by this annuity factor. From that you subtract the PV of outflow or cost and what you get is NPV. The net present value 500646 that is rupees 5 lakh and 646. Similarly, you make calculations for project B and that would be present value of annuity at 15% per annum for 10 years. It will be the factor as 5.018769. So total PV of inflows will be 7,17,000 multiplied by this annuity factor that comes to 35,98,457. From that, when you subtract the cost, what you get is NPV of 5,98,457. Now, what I want you to understand is the two NPVs are clearly telling us that project B is beneficial when it comes to NPV. But have you noticed one thing? Project B is capable of generating this much NPV over a period of 10 years. Whereas project A is capable of generating so much of NPV just over a period of 6 years. That is where when we say that project A and B before they can be compared, we must make them comparable. So we are comparing these two projects, project A and project B. And we have to look into which project is actually to be selected. So looking at NPV, I told you earlier itself that NPV of project B is definitely higher, 5,98,457. But that much of NPV you are able to generate over a project life of 10 years. So this is not directly comparable with project A because project A has a life of 6 years. What we will do is, we will try to convert these NPVs on a common base which will be a per annum base. When you convert an NPV into a, an equivalent amount of annual NPV, annual NPV, we call that process as annualization. Annualization. Now, 
how to do this let me explain let me explain this when you have a process of annualization you are going to convert a present value into annual values how to do that simple logic if i give you annual cash flows over coming 6 years and i ask you to find the present value what you do to the amount of annual cash flows you will multiply the annuity factor so annual cash flows amount multiplied by annuity factor will pull all the cash flows to their present values i repeat when you are expecting certain amount of cash flows over coming 6 years and you want to find the present value you take annual cash flow amount and to that you multiply the annuity factor so that per annum amount multiplied by annuity factor will give you the lump sum present value so if i have a lump sum present value and if i divided by annuity factor i will be getting a per annum value should i repeat it again point is when you have per annum cash flows over coming 6 years so that you have multiplied 6 years annuity factor you get a lump sum present value so if you are given the present value and you divide that present value by that annuity factor you will be getting the per annum values so per annum values multiplied by annuity factor equals to lump sum present value so lump sum present value divided by annuity factor will give you a per annum value so when you divide the amount of npv by its applicable annuity factor do you know what will happen you will be getting annualized npv annualized npv also known as equivalent annual npv that means you are trying to convert npv into per annum now how to do this i have just explained let us do one thing in this solution how to write it up that also i am showing you please uh, do this writing work as per npv basis project b appears to be better however lives of the two projects are unequal therefore npv cannot be considered as appropriate basis and the decision should be taken on the basis of equivalent annual npv or annualized npv and how to compute annualized npv i have just explained you npv of the project divided by applicable annuity factor so for project a it will be 500646 divided by its annuity factor of 6 years that is 3.784483 and what you get is rupees 1,32,289 per annum and for project b it will be 5,98,457 divided by its applicable annuity factor for 10 years that is 5.018769 and finally what you get is 119244 per annum please take care of one thing when we are computing annualized npv the final value what you get as annualized npv should be expressed as a per annum calculation necessarily so a per annum value multiplied by annuity factor will give you a present value so present value divided by annuity factor will give you a per annum value now this is per annum value this is per annum value on a per annum basis we can compare and conclude that project a is better let us move ahead and write up the conclusion based on annualized npv the decision should be made annualized npv of project a is higher than that of project b therefore project a is better so after this write a note whenever there is a conflict between npv and annualized npv always prefer annualized npv basis irrespective of whether the cost of the two projects are equal or unequal the only condition for using annualized npv is that life of the two projects should be unequal so friends before you write up this point let me explain this uh, last note over here see when the lives of the two projects are same and cost of the two projects are also same you use npv as the basis when lives of the two projects are same but cost of the two projects are different then it could be either npv or profitability index 
any basis depending upon the situation whether you have abundance of capital or shortage of capital that is what we have discussed in past. Now if the life of two given projects are different and you have to select any one of them and there is a conflict between NPV and annualized NPV then you always prefer annualized NPV irrespective of whether the cost of the two projects are same or different because annualized NPV takes care of inflows as well as outflows because NPV itself was the final result which you have again converted into a per annum value. Finally, what we would conclude is whenever the lives of the two projects are different, you simply apply annualized NPV as the most appropriate basis over there. Let us take up question number 17. Let us read this question. Company X is forced to choose between two machines A and B. The two machines are designed differently but have identical capacity and do exactly the same job. Machine A costs rupees 150,000 and will last for three years. It costs rupees 40,000 per year to run. Machine B is an economy model costing rupees 1 lakh but will last only for 2 years and cost rupees 60,000 per year to run. These are real cash flows. The costs are forecasted in rupees of constant purchasing power. Ignore tax. Opportunity cost of capital is 10%. Which machine should company X buy? So friends, can you notice one thing in this question? The two alternatives that are available with the company, machine A and machine B, they both have different lives. So first of all, the initial amount of investment which is given to you must be converted into a per annum value by annualization process, which we have just learned some time back. Now, after you annualize the initial investment, the initial investment burden will be actually spread over the life of the machine on a per annum basis. Over and above that, the recurring cost is given already in terms of per annum. So the annualized amount of initial investment plus the recurring cost every year will give you effective annual outflow, which is an annualized outflow on effective basis. And of course, it's an annual outflow and we can easily make a comparison on a per annum basis because the lives of the machines are different. One more thing. In the entire question, there is no information about inflows. So there is no question of determining NPV over here. Instead, what we will do is we will simply determine the annualized outflow and we will try to minimize the annualized outflows. So let us see how to present the solution over here. First mention the fact that in the given case, there is no information about any inflow. Therefore, company would attempt to minimize its outflows life of the two machines A and B are unequal. Therefore, annualized outflows have to be minimized. Calculation of annualized outflows for machine A and how we do that? We pick the initial investment amount and this machine has life of three years. So we will determine the annuity factor at 10% per annum for three years, which is 2.486852. Then what you do is find the annualized amount of initial investment which will be 1,50,000 divided by the annuity factor and what you get is a per annum value that is 60,317 per annum. To that you add the annual recurring outflow that is 40,000 per annum and just take aggregate of both of these per annum figures and what we get as effective outflow will be rupees 1 lakh 317 per annum. The way we have made the calculation for machine A exactly similarly you will be making the calculation for machine B. So for machine B exactly same type of calculations same logic and the annualized amount of initial investment over there you should get as 57,619 per annum to that you add your annual recurring outflow which comes to 60,000 and the aggregate of these two components is 1,17,619 per annum. 
so we find that the annualized or on a per annum basis the effective outflow is more in machine b therefore the choice that the company should make must be machine a so please write the conclusion the effective annual outflow is lesser in case of machine a therefore company should select machine a